Hey guys, how you doing? It's James here from J-Ray Games. Today I'm playing Transference, and I got a crazy deal on Nolo. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. All right, well today I'm going to be playing Transference. It is a very scary psychological horror type game. First person, it is kind of similar to the old Myst games. I don't know if you guys have played those before, but similar. There's problem solving and um, it's, it's a very interesting game. I will be using my PSVR headset, but I will be using Nolo VR controllers. And if you have been considering getting Nolo VR, for your VR uh, setup at home, guess what? This week from November 22nd to the 26th, you will be able to pick up Nolo VR for $159. And it includes a $20 uh, Steam VR, sorry, not Steam VR, but Steam gift certificate with every purchase. That is an awesome deal for such an amazing controller device. You will see me using it in tons of my videos. I've even started a playlist called Nolo VR where you can see all the wonderful games that I've played using this awesome controller setup. Back to transference. This game is really, really interesting. It is a psychological horror game, as I mentioned, where you go into this demented sort of world that this man has created. It's basically an escape room in first person where you are going through these different dimensions and you're trying to solve the mysteries that um, this guy has put into this virtual world. It is really, really excellent. It's well thought out, and I think it's a, it's an extremely fun game, especially with um, you know um, Nolo as your controller scheme. Because again, it's going to be very immersive. You're going to feel like you're there, and you're going to feel like you're manipulating this world around you. I'm going to switch to my desktop. I'm going to show you how I'm set up for this. So uh, let's do that right now. Okay. Well, now that I'm on my desktop here, I'm going to start by launching Nolo Assistant and going to get that going and it detects the base station. I got one controller on, I got my headset marker. I'm going to start game, which is going to launch Trinus. All right, and here's Trinus here and I'm going to make sure I got my Nolo VR turned on and I'm going to make sure that I've got Nolo orientation and I use invert Nolo X axis, that seems to work for me. And I'm going to start it up and here we go. It's going to calibrate. I've got my PSVR sitting behind me there um, on the floor, or sorry, not behind, but behind my computer on the floor. And now I'm going to run Steam VR. All right, as soon as this comes up, I'm going to hold Alt Tab and I'm going to choose my headset window, shift Windows right, send it over to the PlayStation headset. Just going to close that and one thing I do before I start playing is I press the little button on the headset marker of the Nolo so that it calibrates for the floor but I'll do that as soon as I get over there. If you have not set up your PSVR on your PC before make sure you check out my other videos I show you how to do it. I also show videos on how to set up Nolo as well. I'm kind of going through it quickly here but uh, I'm going to assume that most people watching this have, have done it before. Next, we're going to go and head into the play place and actually play the game. Okay, I'm just going to walk over here. And like I said, I'm going to push the button on the headset tracker that's going to actually calibrate for the floor. Um, you may not see any difference in Steam when you do this, but I just like to do it. It's kind of a, more of a habit than anything else. And now I can actually put my headset on and get ready to play. Now you should see it responding on the computer there. You can see that now I can see my room and when I rotate my head and I tilt my head and all that good stuff it's going to respond nicely. I'm going to grab my controllers which are down here as well and I'm just going to make sure that they're calibrated by pressing the power button on. I double click to recalibrate. There's one of them and there's the second one and we are good to go it looks perfect in here i'm just going to teleport up to the board i'm going to take a look and there's transference and that's the game i'm going to be playing so let's check it out like i said this is a pretty scary game it's uh really really well done 
and it really gives you a sense of immersion that you are in this world or in this this sort of deranged mind um, of this guy um, it is a pretty scary game and here we go um, as soon as I press the button you'll see that that has changed to a T for trigger uh, if I was using a gamepad a controller um, I press that and it would uh, allow me to use the buttons on the controller but as you can see I'm going to look at the game trigger and we are going to resume game but before I do that I just want to show you that setting that you have to set um, under VR settings I believe you have to switch it on to VR mode otherwise uh, it will not start in VR automatically so we're going to resume our game here we go world of transference and this game combines a lot of practical applications that you can tell with the world that you're in. So it's almost like a movie. It's almost like you're watching a movie most of the time. Um, and the really clever idea that they had in this game um, is you have these different dimensions. So I'm in this world right now. It could be the real world. It's hard to tell. I don't know. But as I go through it, my wife? There's these almost like memories that play. And um, if I use a light switch in the game, it'll actually let me switch between dimensions. So if I use this light switch, you will see that this same world gets rebuilt. And now I'm in this alternate sort of dimension. And you don't really know which one's the real one or if any of them are the real one. But the world changes as you change dimensions. You can see it's very glitchy, but it's meant to be glitchy. Things are glitching out. And the whole idea of this world that you're in, which I think is really clever, is that there will be things missing in this dimension that I have to go and get from another dimension. I'll, I'll show you an example. Hopefully I can show you an example. Um, if I go into this area, let's see what happens here. And it is scary. It's meant to be scary. Um, but it's very, very cool. All right, and you can see how it works just wonderfully with Nolo. Nolo handles this amazing. I've got this immersion with my hands, and I can, I can rotate using the trackpad, or I can even turn my body if I really want. But basically, I am interacting with this world and looking for missing pieces most times for things that. Um, you know, these different dimensions don't have. So, I'm trying to show you an example, it's tough because I don't see anything that I'm missing right now. Um, I'm just kind of looking around to see. But like I said, you can interact with the world, so I can pick up things that I see, I can look at them, I can, you know, find clues for things that I might need to, um, you know, finish the, the level. Actually, right now, I don't want to spoil it. I didn't realize I was at this point right now, but right now I, I'm, I'm going to have to put in a code to get into a new area, and I just don't want to ruin it for people who are watching and actually want to play this game. Alright, so let me switch to another dimension here. I've only found two, I don't know if there's three or more, but the cool thing is that these the, the map changes as you go to these different worlds, these different places. And even the locations, the rooms, and, and that sometimes, you know, you, you think it's familiar until you go there again and everything changes. The, the, the room that you were just in is, is in a different place. And it's really, really interesting. Um, and, and I really like the way they handled this. Let's try to open this uh, door. I don't know why I can't. Hang on, sir. Let's try that again. Should be a little There we go. wire cutters out. Now I have beat the game, so again I'm going from an old save here, I started a new file. 
so I know I know what to do in this game already. Um, but I will tell you this: it's it's got a really really great storyline, and it, it really draws you in. The more you play it, and the more you kind of figure out you know what happened here and, and how this world sort of came to be the way that it is. It's really, really interesting. And I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want to give away any spoilers here. I just want to kind of show you how it looks. If you're a fan of a game like, let's say, Resident Evil, uh, not nearly as scary as that. Ooh, there's a creature. This, this creature is always in this world. It's always destroyed. Um, it, not as scary as Resident Evil, but along the same lines, uh, this one deals more with puzzles and, and solving these puzzles to, to get to the next sort of area of the world. Uh, whereas I would say Resident Evil is more survival and, and, and still obviously that puzzle sort of element to it. But this game is more focused on the puzzles uh, to get through the game. Anyways, that's a little preview. Um, again, I don't want to spoil too much. Actually, I didn't spoil anything at all here, really. I'm just kind of showing you how it works. The NOLO responds beautifully. Um, it really gives you that sense of immersion when you can go and interact with them. You can pick them up and throw them, do whatever you need to do. Um, and obviously with the positional tracking, with the head tracker, it works wonderfully. So again, if you've been thinking about getting it, now's the time to get it. Uh, there are tons of great games out there, and you're really missing out if you're not experiencing some of these games. All right, guys, well, that is Transference, and as you can see, it's a pretty creepy game. It's, it's excellent, really, really well done. And like I said, if you want to pick up NOLO, now is the time. You're going to get a great deal on it. Um, and if you happen to catch this video late and the deal's already over, be sure to use my 10% discount code in the description below uh, to get a little bit of savings on that as well. If you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and comment below i will be sure to respond and to help you if you're having any issues also check out our patreon page i will link it up here and uh, support the channel that way if you can that would be great until next time thanks for watching see you in vr